So now here's our glass zero to one, and then here's the rest of our body. Uh, we need to go ahead and UV layout these uh, together. So we're gonna type in, or hit tab, just type in layout and choose UV layout. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And we can see this is the result. And you know what, let's go ahead and take this visualize and let's go drag it down here. And let's plug it into there. So when you look at the density of this, you're gonna see it's all over the place. These have a lot more texel density than the face. Etc. So what we're going to do is with this UV layout selected, let's go here and check on scale islands to match their surface area. And you know what, let's select this and make it visible so you can see the zero to one layout. And now you can see everything's packed in here. And on this UV layout, you can go in here and say, you know what, no rotations, let's put this down to five degrees. And under advanced, you can crank up the amount of iterations it goes through. And again, it's pretty fast. So, and in order to get this to pack on the zero to one, we will go ahead and keep the scale largest packable selected. So one more time, we have everything being packed into the zero to one, and then we have our glass UVs uh, in their own area. So now would be a good time as any to go ahead and set up our texture sets or our bake sets, or essentially we want all of these objects to have one material and this object have another material. So I'm gonna type, hit tab and type in quick material. And for all these objects, I'm gonna plug in this to this quick material here, and we're gonna give this material name. We'll go ahead and call this body underscore mat and then drop in another, hit tab, and then type, start typing in quick material. Plug this one in. And for this material name, we'll just call it glass underscore mat. Now I do want to export these as one object, and there's another operation. I want to go ahead and do my normals now with both these put together. So let's hit tab and type in merge. I'll go ahead and merge everything back together. And again, if it does something weird, Put an attribute delete down here and probably another color and normal point attribute deletion. So now let's set our normals and generally speaking, very generally, you could just soften all the normals. If you want to do that, just type in soften and you can use the lab soften normals. We'll go ahead and plug in this result. And right now everything is soft to soften to 180. You can also tell it wherever I have a UV seam, go ahead and harden. And if you're doing hard surface stuff, that's probably the option you want to click or you can actually set this angle to whatever you'd like. But we'll go ahead and leave that option turned on. And now up to this point, we've gone through and we've processed all the gamma stuff, we've UV'd it, we've packed it, and we've added some normals for our object.